Hello, hello, welcome to another new episode. Today we're going to kill 87 trolls <laughs> to try to get Slayer up there. Uh, Slayer's getting really slow, and that's unfortunate because we needed to get it to 69. Um, as I'm getting close to the quest cape, I think that uh, if I magically had all of the stat requirements for the quest cape right now, uh, I think 500 hours would be a reasonable estimate for how much longer it would take to get us through the, you know, 30 some quests that we have left. But grinding for some of these skills, like farming, slayer, is going to take a super long time. Um, so I think that 600 or even 700, maybe 750 is going to be more accurate. So that the, the pacing of the episode is going to get super slow here towards the end as we move through these final skills, but hey, that's what fast forwarding is for. Um, the goal right now is to get Slayer to 58, so it can be higher than Herblore. We eventually need to get Slayer to 69, we eventually need to get Herblore to 70. We want Tears of Guthix to go on Herblore if possible. So, I'm gonna brute force Slayer to 58, and then try to take Runecraft, probably not to 58, but <clears throat> far enough into 57 that it's higher than Herblore. And the same with, uh, we might go ahead and do 58 with farming. And I think this will be the last week that I try to navigate Tears of Guthix like that. Um, I mean, I guess I could try to get Runecraft to 60, but Runecraft 55 is the max I need for Quest Cape. And of all the skills to keep grinding past Quest Cape, Runecraft is not one that I want to spend a lot of time on. Um, but I guess in the interest of getting base 60 all skills, that could be nice. It could also be, you know, if they're releasing future quest content, I could see them slowly raising the runecraft requirement up to 70 along with all these other skills, so... Anyway, uh, we will do a quest obviously later in the episode, but for now just enjoy the fast forward of these 85 mountain trolls. Um, if any of the interesting drops, I will pop in and comment on it. See ya! Ooh, Snapdragon Seed. That's cool. 64,000 gold. That's something that I can sell with Impunity because I can't use it for Herblore. Actually, I'm curious what even it could use for. Why is it so expensive? Like, I get Ranar Seeds. Everyone needs Prayer Potions. Snapdragon Seed. Grammy Snapdragon. Super Restore Potions, oh, okay, I guess that makes sense. Hey, Strength 62, awesome. Didn't even realize we were close. Hey, Quizmaster, random event. <clears throat> Let me finish this troll off really quick, hopefully. Fast enough. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Hold on. Come on, stop hitting zeros. Serious? Okay. Quiz time. Who we got? Various quiz show and all of you. Odd one out. You're a winner. Please choose your prize. Give me that mystery box. What do we get? Medium glue scroll. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, mountain trolls might drop those. I should check really quick. So we definitely want to bounce out and do that really fast. Mountain troll. Clue. Oh, no, they don't. But... Let's make sure we do it right after this. Lest I forget.
hey, this task is over. Very happy. Don't like troll tasks. Let's go see what the new task is. I'm getting a good number of points per run now, at least, so that's nice. I don't know, is there a minecart that's close to Mount Chrome? No, I'm probably just going to be better off using the barrier ring. Let me out of here. More Calphite in the Calphite layer. Getting similar tasks really close to each other now, which is kind of a bummer. I enjoy Slayer when it's sending us all different places. But that's okay, we need, uh, this is 149 Calphite. 149 actions. It depends on what level of Calphite are that I'm killing. But now I'll get to fight the, the Rune Crossbow and see how much better that goes. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Let's do the medium clue scroll first, though. They might drop medium clues. If I had a thousand blood runes and cast 131 ice barrage spells, how many blood runes do I have left? <laughs> oh, this game's funny. 738, apparently. That's literally a thing that you would have to wiki, right? Not just the answer, but just like how many runes it is. Courtyard in Camelot Castle. How many fountains are there within the grounds of Camelot Castle? Six, apparently. Most of the trapdoor leading in the ham hideout. I got a lot of clue steps in this one. Oh no. Wait. Oh no. We might be okay. After all that, like five steps, get a emote clue that I don't have materials for. Bruise Blue Snell, though. I might be able to make that work. Blamish Blue Snell. Bruise Blamish Snell. They are level 20. Northeast of Fairing BKR. They're low enough level that I probably don't need to bring in a full kit of gear, right? Nope, that's the wrong. Not facing Earth. Oops. Bruise blemish steel. There's a bruise. That's the right kind too. Into shell. I need to buy a bronze square shield from somewhere. Get out my chisel. Here's blue snow. Staff of air. And I probably don't already have a bronze square shield, do I? I don't think so. Where do I obtain one? Cassie's Shield Shop in Northern Falador. There it is. Convenient. This is Shantae Pass. Yeah. Dana Casket. Possible to commit no mistakes and still lose. What? Then he just leaves. Love it. Okay, 
Let's go ahead and deposit this stuff in the stash, and then let me add that to my stash tracker thing, so I know that it's already filled. Stash locations. Uh, Snelm. Yes, it has been filled. What's in the casket? Come on, big money. 23,000 coins. Master Clue Scroll, though, that's, uh, that's exciting. Never gotten one of those. I don't know if I'm able to do it. I guess we give it a try. We need to figure out what exactly goes into a Master Clue. Oh, and a U short bow. <laughs> we already got past, what was it, Temple of Eka or Desert Treasure that required one of those. I think, you know, Temple of Eka because it required the, uh, High short bow to be able to use the ice arrows. Alright, let's see what the first step is. I'll probably have to throw it out at some point. Oh my god. Speak to Abbot Langley in the Edville Monastery while you have a negative prayer bonus. Only possible with an ancient staff. What the fuck? You can get an ancient staff. Pod wants from Eblis after completing Desert Treasure. Let's speak to Gomel at the Warriors Guild with a total melee strength bonus of over 100. I do have a ring of this ability. The northeastern corner where one of four was defeated, the shadows still linger. Yeah, because the Desert Treasure dungeon. Okay. Well, I can't get into the Warrior's Guild until I get to 65 strength, 65 attack, so this clue scroll is at least blocked until then. But it'll be interesting to try it once I get a little bit further. Crazy. Alright, uh, well, actually, we're pretty close to the Calphite Cave, so let's just go ahead and do that. Doki. A couple bits of food just in case. Potion just in case. Or anti poison just in case. Probably don't need a prayer potion. Last time I did this step, I used a cannon. I don't know if I want to do that. Let's go in there and see how it goes with just the crossbow, and then maybe I'll kind of want to hold on to my cannon for now. I only have like 300 cannonballs left. And I'll bring one water skin, because why not? Thought this was the right place, but maybe it's not. Let's see. Konar Quomot. Calphite. Oh, maybe it's the lair rather than the cave. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's not far from here. I can do that. I think I need a rope to be able to get in there. I don't know if we've got safe spots in here. I might have to switch back to melee. I guess we'll see. So these broad bolts are pretty good. Um, doing way more damage than I was doing earlier with the Dorgashin crossbow and the bone bolts. I might experiment with fighting the next level of Calphite. Probably you're going to take about the same amount of time to kill. Potentially more Slayer XP. I'm just doing Slayer to 58 for now. So I don't need to go too crazy. It's a bit of a difference in how long it takes to kill him, but. Ooh, Brimstone Key. Nice. High Ox for 48,000 gold. That's interesting. 
Not that we would ever do that, but... Alright, well, this is gonna be slow and brutal. Um, it's pretty good range XP, pretty good Slayer XP. Well, not pretty good Slayer XP. It is one-tenth the Slayer XP of cannoning Dagonauts. But it gives me an opportunity to get ahead on some work, so I don't have to take more breaks later on, so... See you in some fast forwarding. Ranged 65. So I went ahead and marked the tile that I want to stand on the safe spot here. Can now wield black chinchampas, third age bow, third age range armor. 165 range is exciting. We're probably going to end up getting range to 70 long before the melee stats get there. Let's see if I can kill the next up level of cow fight really quick. Um, I need 133 kills to get Slayer 58, which is our soft goal. And uh, I only have 131 kills left in the task. So it would be nice to be able to just stop. Try killing one of these guardians. Hopefully, I don't die in the process. Oh, that's not good. That's very not good. Where can you follow me? One forty-one. Do not have a particularly exciting drop table. I'm not gonna fight much of them. Also, they're way slower to kill. And I didn't drop anything anyway. Let's see how much that reduces the number of uh, soldiers we need to kill. I think soldiers are probably fine to keep focusing on. They're slow, but it's, it's more ranged XP. Take us longer to switch Slayer tasks, but you know, whatever. So I'm still showing one more soldier kill that I have tasks for, so I'm gonna go kill another guardian really quick. And hey, maybe we'll get lucky. I guess the uh, drop rate for Brimstone keys goes up when the mob is a higher level, so. Perhaps something good will come out of it. That's even better. You stand right there. Right. Oh, nope. He was trapped on a worker. Never mind. Hopefully the difference in XP on this one guardian is enough to get us to ding 58 the moment the task ends. That would be... Very elegant. Uh oh. Feels like disconnecting. Did I lose Comcast? Fortunately, I wasn't standing here or I was in danger. No, I think this is a RuneScape downtime. That's a first. Hey, I'm not dead. Maybe it was just that server that went down. Shit, I kill a worker by accident. I'm gonna need to go kill one more guardian. Let's see. 
Yeah, I gotta go kill another guardian. Whoops. Let's do that after the soldier. That's cool. Someone just showed up. Dropped a cannon. <laughs> Whatever. That's what hopping is for. Hey, another player brought a soldier over to me that just poisoned me. That's cool. Well, and I'm out of anti-poison. Great. So we'll even come back. Didn't really think about that being possible. That's that's old school. I remember having playing uh, obviously eleven, and uh, a player would like run a train of mobs to a zone boundary where you were fighting. And that's actually why you would fight on zone boundaries. Because you needed to be able to zone out to drop aggro, otherwise they'd chase you throughout the whole map. This is all probably fine. I'm excited to cash in all these and sold heads. A good chunk of them now. Do I have a... Nope. Be like, do I even have a drama staff on me? I absolutely do not. Alright, I need a rope to get down there. That's easy to forget. Hey, it's a genie. Um, yeah, group work. It's fine. Ranged 66. It's gonna go really nicely with Slayer 58. About seven more kills, six more kills. Get out of here. And I can think I can leave Slayer alone for a while. Um, I do want to get to 69 Slayer for Quest Cape. And it's a uh, somewhat AFK. The most AFK thing I can do right now, I think, is. Um, making cannonballs, and I'm going to need more of those for combat training and probably slayer training later. I should probably just go hard on cannonballs sometime soon, just like mass up a huge stock of them um, as part of getting mining up to, to speed. Got to get mining to 72, which should get me a good chunk of the way. Especially once I finish getting that Prospector's jacket, jacket and I can start mining in the mining guild instead of in Motherload. Specifically target stuff like uh, coal. Great. Fifty-eight Slayer. Now kill Cave Horrors, which I think that's actually significant. Um, 
Uh, I think they drop a mask. I may have mentioned this when we did the the rum deal quest or whatever quest got us to the island where they spawn. They drop like a mask that increases damage dealt against slayer task targets. Black mask. Provides a 16.67% attack and strength boost against enemies on the current slayer task. It's also necessary to make a slayer helmet. I think it's the one hard item to get in a slayer helmet. Black mask, earmuffs, face mask, nose peg, spiny helmet. Everything else is trivial. So that might be worth trying to farm for. Completed 42 tasks, 18 points, total of 74, return to your Slayer Master. Okay, I'll go do that now. Pick up my uh, brimstone key along the way. And I think I'm going to take a break. Let's see, hours left in the episode. We're going to 3, 440? That, that's right. We have about a little less than five hours left. Okay. We'll probably do a quest when I come back. Super close to 65 health, which is neat. That's pretty neat. Black mask, cave workers. Probably gonna add this northeast of farming guild to my favorites here. I go there a lot. Oops, forgot to grab my birdstone key. Fortunately, there's a bank right up here. Oh, I was just like, what was in the chest? It was just 127,000 coins. That's cool. 50 Onko in the Stronghold Slayer Dungeon. Man, getting some real crazy task repeats. That's an easy <coughs> slash fast one, though, so... I'm not going to do it now, but it's good to keep in mind that we'll have one that I can do in melee that'll be over fairly quickly. Okay, uh, I'm going to head over to that bank again, and then take a break. Take a shower and get ready for stream. When we come back, there's a lot of stuff we could be doing. Um, probably pick a quest. Seems like a good idea. See that? Hello folks, I'm back. Uh, let's do a quest. Um, how about... Making History. Restoration of the outpost north of West Arduin. Where is the condition of priest in peril? Need a strung sapphire amulet, which I might already have, unless I turn them all into other things. Nope, totally sold them. <laughs> Alright, well, let's make one then. I've got plenty of sapphires. It's gold bar plus sapphire plus amulet mold plus ball of wool. A spade. Ghost speak amulet. I'm going to use that in a minute. Ectophile. Ring of Dueling. Fermentic Sea Boots 2. Fairy rings. Talk to Joral in the outpost just northwest of West Arduin, directly south of Trinum Stronghold. I can find the most efficient way to get there. Trinum is probably best. Yeah. Oh, I should make the sapphire amulet. Let's do that real quick. And then we'll head over to the thingamajig. No, I'm stronghold. South. Hi there. <clears throat> All is lost. 
Sorry? Just look around you. This great building will soon be in ruin. This building has a history spanning generations. Does the king not respect the outpost's great history? Nobody knows what the history is, but there must be something. Wait a minute, you could help me. I covered the history of this building to convince King Lothus to leave it alone. We know King Lothus is an asshole. Tell me more. Tell me about the outpost. Many occupants over the years. Ooh, new cutscene textile. This is cool. The building has seen much action. Started life as an outpost. Sole purpose being to see invading armies. Of gnomes before they saw the city of Arduin. If all goes well, I hope you'll be able to turn it into a museum as a monument to the area's history. What do you think? I'll make a stand for history. You really are my savior. Where should I start? What do I need to do now? Three people that may be able to help. Trader in Arduin. Silver trader in East Arduin called Aaron, who I believe can help. Great grandfather lived in his this outpost according to the records. He must know something. Ghost in Port Phasmatis. Ghost off in Port Phasmatis. Drolak. Need an amulet of ghost speak to talk to him. I've conversed with the dead before. There shouldn't be too much of a problem. A warrior in Relica. A warrior called Drawn that I've spoken to in the past. He's always on the lookout for information that can improve the fighting and commanding skills. His fighting and commanding skills. He isn't directly, but he's studied many wars, and as this used to be an outpost, should have been involved in some war. Took to his brother Blanin first. Okay. Aaron the Silver Merchant, East Arduin. Talk to the Silver Merchant. Ask about the outpost. Are you Aaron? That I am. I realize I'm working here. Ask you a bit about your great grandfather, the one who lived in the outpost. What's it to you? Do some research for a man called Joral. The king is going to make the outpost into his very own alchemist lab. That can only cause chaos. My great grandfather lived and died there, according to my mother, but even she knows a little about him. The only thing I have of his is a key. It's a strange key. It changes temperature by itself as you walk around. It's a hot and cold game, or it's like a Metal Gear Solid key. Will you lend it to me then? Why not? I can't use it anyway. Enchanted key. It's freezing. Freezing and warmer than last time. Castle Wars. Damn. It's further out of the way than I was expecting. North of Castle Wars. Burning hot. <coughs> Excuse me. And warmer than last time. Still not quite over my convention plague, so I might have to try to catch myself in mute before I cough. I didn't realize this observatory was so close to uh, Castle Wars. Colder than last time. Must be right below your feet. It's inside the chest. Look in the chest and find a journal, and you throw away the chest. Alright, I'll read this and give a summary. He met a worshipper of Zamorak and he's like, This is just the opportunity I wanted to become evil. But he's overwhelmed by just how evil the other eight people are, and that's amplified by living in a small building together. The real world Zamorak. They're doing some pretty evil stuff poisoning the water supply, trying to blow people up, make all the children invisible. Okay, so people of Arduin figure out that, uh, the 
uh, Zamorak mages are causing all the chaos, and they tell them their days are numbered, and that's the last entry. Oops, sorry. Jorlak the Ghost. One of Port Phasmatis. Into the general store. Are you Drolak? I haven't sworn a living for I don't remember how long. Is your name is Drolak? Sorry, yes, I am he. Do you think about the outpost north of Arduin? I'd like to talk about it, but I died there. Oh dear. Do you have a scroll which might interest you that describes the timeline of the outposts? Do I have a problem? Like what? I'll have to go to the outpost against the wishes of my wife. I promised I'd return to her, but obviously I did not as I died there. She's a ghost nearby. We'll listen to my apologies. To patch things up? Yes, how'd you guess? Call it Traveler's Intuition. Give her a strong sapphire amulet. This is what I gave her the day I left. Her name is Melina. No problem. Just east of the general store. Yo, are you Melina? What's to you? I'm talking to Drolak. Left you and never returned. What an empty gesture. So I'm going to give you this amulet. You remember, just like the one he gave me before he left. I honestly believe he's sorry. Tell him I forgive him. Oops. Didn't mean to click away. Very well. Goodbye. Give her the amulet. She's very pleased, and she wanted to know you still cared. Finally, rest in peace. Can I have that scroll you mentioned first? Read scroll. Part of Fifth Age, outpost built. Traded years of tragedy, a great battle. Survivors of battle started a new line of kings of Arduin in the equal trade market. Oh, the Relica. East of the Longhold. You're the brother of Drawn. Why? Did he kill one of your family? Not that I know of. Oh, good. How can I help you? Did you talk to your brother Drawn about the outpost north of Arduin? Not easy to talk to. Good he came to see me. I need to remember a few things when talking to him. Be firm with him and don't mention that I sent you. In case he asks, he wields an iron mace in battle, eats rats for breakfast, kittens for lunch, and bunnies for tea. His favorite drink is red spider blood. He's 36 years, 8 months, and 21 days old. Studies famous battles of the 4th and 5th ages. Lives on the northeast side of town. And his pet cat is called Fluffy. This sounds strange. Dron won't talk to anyone unless they know him well. He's a secretive guy. Let me talk to you. Why should I? After important answers. How do you know me? Why, well, you're the famous warrior drawn. What weapon do I use? An iron mace. Why do I like to eat rats for breakfast? What are kittens best of our lunch? What I usually eat for tea. Bunnies, right? Color red, what color spider blood tastes the best? Red. How many years old am I? 36 years. Months? Eight. 21 days. Fifth and fourth ages. House is situated where? Northeast side of town. I guess that one he didn't tell you explicitly. Brother's name is Blannon. My pet cat is called Fluffy. What's five plus seven? <laughs> Twelve! What does that have to do with anything? I love that that has a separate answer from fourteen. Everything! Besides, it's thirteen. I think you'll find it's twelve. Multiple ellipses. Very well. You know me quite well. I'll answer your questions the best I can. I'm trying to find out the history of the outpost near Arduin. We're reading of a battle that took place at the outpost many years ago. Two ex-friends led forces in a small battle that ended with them pitted against each other at the top of the outpost as the sole survivors because of their superior strength. Ex-friends? They were once friends, but a difference in their beliefs meant they fell out. One chose to follow Zamorak, the other chose Ceridomen. Finding themselves in this extreme situation at the top of the outpost caused them to see the error in their ways, the waste of life, the lost friendship, and the wasted time. They both decided to unite under Guthix. Oh, I like happy endings. You would. 
Let me get the blood stains out of your clothes. Be gone! <laughs> Back to Jorel. Hi there. How's it going? I found the journal. <clears throat> Good work. Let's see what it says. The person who wrote the journal spent time living in the outpost following the order of Zamorak. Talks about the nasty things he did to the people of Arduin. Stopped by someone, but it doesn't say who. Talk to the warrior. Well. <laughs> I asked him about getting the bloodstains out of his clothes, but he didn't like that. You're lucky he didn't beat you up. I in contact with a ghost, you suggest, and I recovered this. <clears throat> it was a great battle of the outpost. One of the survivors became king, and the others started the marketplace. Good work. I never realized there was quite so much history to this place. It was more than I could have hoped. Many years ago, there were two friends who fell out over their difference of opinion. This is all stuff we read in the book. And from talking to uh, a Relica guy. The one that became king is the great grandfather of King Lothus. Oh. Want me to deliver her to the king? You've got that right. Of course they do. Uh, of course they do. Completion of making history is required for Song of the Elves. No shit. I guess it involves King Lothus. I assume Song of the Elves is resolving that plotline. Like this big, crazy cliffhanger that he's actually a bad guy. At the end of Regicide, and then it's like, oh, that's it. Can I get to this yet? I'm gonna have a high enough... Oh, wait, nope. You let me in. Black Scimitar. I just pop on multiple servers to get more of those. doesn't really alk for enough. It's only like 400, which is more than the cost of a nature rune, but... wonder what the gold per hour is from looting this thing through world hopping. I'm surprised bots... Well, maybe it's too far from a bang for it to be effective for bots. That's enough of that. Yo, King Lothus. I see. No idea that place had any value at all. All this my great grandfather and Jorl's plans to make it into a museum makes for a convincing case. Comply with his request. Take this letter back to him with my kind regards. Only knights of Arduin are allowed at the prison. Hmm. Huh, I guess there's not a way out of the wall, is there? Womp womp. Well. We'll go this way then. So I was thinking about doing multiple quests, but I really want to get ahead of uh, Tears of Guthix. So I think after this, I'm going to smith gold ores and then make them into gold bracelets and then alk the bracelets, which I know I'm sure sounds compelling. Um, I need to get. Crafting to 58. Or at least past 57 herbal orb, but 58 is fine. Like, I need to get it up to 70 anyway for Quest Cape. So, we'll see how far we can take crafting with that. Then, we're going to do um, farming and herbal orb, which I'm not looking forward to, but gotta, gotta do it. I think Herblore is getting worse in terms of how many Tithe Farm runs we need per level up. Get more, might be more than 100 seeds per level up now. Ugh, I, I hate Tithe Farm. It's my least favorite content in the game. I think. I'd have to think about that. Running runes of the Chaos Temple. Chaos rune making may have been worse, but... I just hate it because of the time commitment. Like, there's no time commitment with Chaos Rune Crafting. You can do a couple runes and be like, alright, I'm done. 
once you start doing Tithe Farm, you gotta keep going. Been to the king and he gave me this letter. Quick, let me see. You've saved the outpost. Hey. Use the enchanted key Oliver Gildenor. Visit the Silver Trader for help. Oh, that's cool. I think there's a mini quest that's called that. Yeah, enchanted key. That's cool. Shield display. Large display. Bookcase. Hellworn by Wally in his defeat of Delroth the Demon 150 years ago. That's cool. Flag of Seradomen. Incoming Seradomenus Force that did battle in the Oppo 68 years after the start of the First Fifth Age. Okay, let's go do goldsmithing. Oh boy. Let me do the enchanted. Uh, probably I'm going to want to finish all the mini quests later. I wonder if I can go on the key ring. That would be super convenient. I feel like all of the necessary keys can. It can. Fantastic. Alright, and then I need the Varrock chest plate. And the goldsmith gauntlets are the really important one. It would be a huge shame to forget those. Alright, we'll see. I might be able to ding. Well, I don't know how barely into 59 smithing we are. I also don't know how much gold we got from all that motherload mining. I think it's probably still a lot faster to get gold from um, buying from that merchant. Although, now that I've got the, uh, the Miner's Guild, at least that would give me XP and wouldn't cost me gold if I wanted to do that. Let's see if Miner's Guild has gold ore in it. Four hundred some. Okay, and I've got like two hundred ninety-six ingots. Whoa, what's that guy doing? We are barely fifty-nine. Okay. Although I might just barely have enough gold ore that this is going to be enough to dig sixty smithing. So that's cool. We'd only need ten levels after that. Shit, apparently my live split timer didn't take the save when I updated the value when I signed off last time. Uh, I'm fixing it now. You've probably already noticed this. Super annoying. So I should have started at 435, 16, something. 35, 16, 56 is where I should have started. Now I have to do math on how long I've been recording now to figure out where it should be. Ooh, earns. Glad I noticed. I could have lost time like that for like several episodes. I'm just trying to calculate, when is this episode over? I'm like, it's not over that soon. Okay, I think I timed it just right. Add 41 minutes onto the old time. 435 plus 41, 435, 16 plus 41 minutes is 435, 57 and some change. So it's fixed. Uh, this episode ends at 440. Yeah. So we have like four hours left. Tons of time. Smithing 60! How clean at the end of a full inventory of gold ore. You can now make mithril battle axes and dragon square shields. That one's actually kind of interesting to look into what all goes into making a dragon square shield. Which I'm going to save this last remaining nine gold ore just in case. Man, I was seven gold ore. I didn't realize how close I was cutting it <laughs> to getting to 60 smithing. I just barely had enough for mother love mine. All right, and now the, quote, fun part, making 700 gold bracelets and then elking them. Uh, here we go. At least I have that mouse key thing for elking now.
Crafting 57, it happened. Now you can craft green Dragonite Van Braces. A little late. 848 more bracelets to get to 58. I need to find out how much XP I need to get to the Herblar threshold. 210, 132. 7,000. 25 per bracelet. It might actually be good. I think I only need 280. I need to check the bank. Okay, if I leave 50 gold bars remaining, I will have more crafting XP than I have herblore XP. As long as I don't do too much herblore stuff. Oh, it's not comfortable. I guess I could look into glass blowing. All right, let's begin misery. Uh, Alking seven hundred and twenty nine gold bracelets. Um, maybe we'll get a magic level out of this. I think we may have been kind of close. I don't know. I'm gonna have to stop to buy more nature runes partway through, and I'm gonna have to add nature runes now onto my Tin Man project buyback list. It's getting pretty bad. It's, it can be a fairly large number. Let's see, I'm going to try to buy back... Uh, se hold on. 2107, 729, 2,836. 729, okay. Get out my... Keyboard, secondary keyboard that I set up with mouse keys. Let's line it up and let me watch something on YouTube. See you in a bit. Enjoy the fact that it's fast forwarded. You're a smart viewer. You've probably been watching this whole thing where I have a stack of thousands of fire runes instead of a fire staff equipped like a reasonable person. What? I just, I don't understand how it happened. I don't know how I did that. How I did it for so long. I mean, you've been watching on fast forward. You've been watching that stack of runes just go down and down and down. And I'm just happily tapping the five button through several hundred, whatever, it, I'm wasting some gold, I'm destroying some gold, removing it from the economy by buying it from a merchant. Um, I'm gonna go buy my thousands of fire runes back and then we'll continue with this. Why would I even withdraw the fire? Okay, that's fine. It's fine. We need 729 of these puppies. Go find out what the damages are here from me being an idiot and not wearing a fire staff. It probably means that I make zero profit from the alking, but we alk it for the magic XP more so than anything else. 430 coins for 100 fire runes. Okay, so it only costs me, like, woof. Cost me about 8,600 gold, which isn't great, but could be worse. Seventy one magic. Do, do we do we do we do we get something in seventy one magic? Are you serious? There's so many spell books in this game. You gotta be kidding me. Hold on. I need to pause and look this up. Magic level up table. 
There are like five spell books. If there's any, okay, okay. Whew. Archaea spells unlock gives you cemetery teleport. Lunar spells unlock gives you cure me, hunter kit, and Orania teleport. I guess Orania teleports relevant for runecraft training. Maybe hunter kit produces hunter items, but who cares? Cure me removes poison. Which is maybe useful. Eh. Cemetery teleport. <laughs> it's the forgotten cemetery in the wilderness. Hey, 71 magic. I guess we want 70, 72 magic. Is going to let us cast reanimate demon without having to stat boost into it. So there's something, something there. Anyway, I have to do 165 more gold bracelets, so back to fast forwarding later. Okay. Oh, the high alchemy is done. Oh god, it's over. That sucked really bad. But it produced... 47,000 magic XP. So that's cool. Now the question is... I'm going to go ahead and push crafting 58. I have to do it eventually anyway. And... I have a bunch of buckets of sand. I should be gra I really need to be grabbing my buckets of sand every day because, like, it's such a short walk from my player-owned house. That's where my teleport is anyway. If I miss everything else, I should at least get the buckets of sand. So I'm going to grab buckets of sand, and then I'm going to go get as much soda ash as is necessary to turn all of those buckets into glass. And I'm going to turn all that glass into unpowered orbs. And then we're going to do Tithe Farm, which I'm not pumped about. Although I did the math, and I think we only need to do three runs of Tithe Farm. So like an hour and a half of Tithe Farm to get to 58 farming. And I can put it off for another week. Guthix is actually a pretty good way to keep me grinding. Okay, um... Looks like Soda Ash, we want to go to... Fishing Trawler? Question mark? In Port Kazard, of all places. Crafting 58, uh, you can now craft Earth the Battle Stabs and Diamond Bracelets. Ooh, golly. Diamond Bracelets, I think, are Abyss Bracelets, which keep you from getting sculled when you go to the Abyss, which would be nice if we ever do runecrafting via the Abyss again, but god, that's awful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish making this Molten Glass, and then I think I'm going to go to bed. I'm just going to bank the glass for now. I'll end up... You know, leveling, crafting the rest of the way, and make some unpowered orbs and stuff with it, but... For now, it's soup time. Alright, well, now I'm curious, actually. Um, I want to know how much... How long it would take to glass blow this glass. So I'm going to do one inventory full of it, and see how that goes. Where is my molten glass? Well, the XP per cast is good. It's uh, double what we were getting for gold bracelets, so that's a good sign. Um, we'll get 59 from this glass. We won't quite get 60. 
Alright, I'll push through and get 59. Why not? It's not that bad. And then I'll go to bed. And then, depending on what time it is with the episode continuing, we're wrapping at 4.40 on the clock. I'm going to do... Tithe Farm! Uh, <laughs> going to get Farming to 58, and then RuneCraft to 58, and then I'm going to see what I can do with uh, Prayer. I think I might have an ins enough ensouled heads to get Prayer to... If not 58, at least far enough into 57 that I can um, put Tears of Guthix into Herblore on Thursday. I should do that math so that I'm not sad later. Prayer. 58. 224, 173650. 50,816. Rare. Alright, and let me make a notepad of the heads that I'm sitting on. Uh, we got five Bloodveld, five Demon, which I can boost to do, one Unicorn, six Troll, five Giant, five Dagonoth. Three, Calphite, two Ogre, and then some bones that I can think about later. I guess worst case I can always go fight baby dragons or something to get bones. Alright, I'm gonna go do math while I'm blowing glass here. Alright, so the math says in sold heads alone are only going to get us 28,238 per XP. Um, that is plus 173,650. That is short like 9,000. Ben, don't knock things over. Short like 9,000 what we need for getting ahead of herb war. Um, let me figure out what I would need to farm or what I would need to do to finish hitting per 58. I think I want per 58 anyway, just to have more per points. But... Okay, so... Prayer. I need to make up 22,578 XP to get to 58 prayer after doing insult heads. Um, I can get 10,000 of that from a quest called Swan Song that I qualify for. And I can get 6,000 of that from a quest called Great Brain Robbery that I qualify for. 2,000 of it from Mountain Daughter. So three quests that I should go ahead and do anyway. Uh, I guess I should be a little bit worried about Swan Song because it's a master level quest. But I should probably do quests anyway, and I have two more days until it's Thursday. So I'm guessing what's going to happen is this episode was weak. We <laughs> did Making History, which did give Prayer XP, by the way. Uh, next episode, will I will try to include Swan Song. Um, if I can knock out Swan Song, then I just have Great Brain Robbery and Mountain Daughter. And that puts us within just 4,758, yeah, 4,578 experience needed to finish hitting 58 per. God, prayer is a bitch. I keep going back and forth between prayer and herbaler. My problem with prayer is I struggle with, like, going and fighting mobs that aren't on my Slayer task list. I feel bad doing it. I could get a task for baby dragons, right? I just haven't been getting it. What kind of bones am I sitting on? 
68 big bones. That translates to how much? That'd be 76 big bones required at the active fungus to make the difference. Okay, so I can do that with my dragon bones and my baby dragon bones. If I burn through literally everything. Oh man, that's brutal. Okay. So here's how I envision... Uh, first of all, the rest of this episode. After I hit 59 crafting, I'm putting the rest of my molten glass away. It's going to be in like one more inventory. Um, we'll probably have like an hour left in this episode. I'm going to spend that... Let's do in sold heads. If I remember that I said I was going to do that when I wake up in the morning. Maybe I'll put them, I mean, put them in my inventory so I don't forget. In sold heads. Knock them all out, burn through them. Then let's go Ectofunctus. Well, okay, let's see how much time we have left after in sold heads. Maybe I'll have time to do the Ectofunctus. Next episode will be if I can work up the courage to do a master quest and then two quests right after it. Swan Song, Great Brain Robbery, and Mountain Daughter. Um, I only need three more things to pay. And then we should still have time before Thursday kicks off Tears of Guthix to do four levels of farming via Tithe Farm, and then four levels of runecraft, maybe via runecrafting. Like, I might actually make law runes instead of doing the library. Because I need law runes anyway. I need to pay back uh, 1,800 law runes before the playthrough's over. Crafting 59. Can now craft the Toxic Staff of the Dead and Trident of the Swamp. Don't know what those are for. Cool. Thanks, folks. I'll be back in a few seconds. Oh, and I'm going to put a bunch of insult heads in my inventory so that future me knows what the plan is. Get the picture, dummy. Alright, see you in a few. Good morning, friends. Left myself this lovely inventory full of insult heads to tell me that I should go kill the insult heads today. So I'm gonna try to do that. Uh, let me get some gear together. Hopefully I don't screw it up this time like I did before with the Calphites. I'll probably do the Calphites last so that I have space for anti-poisons. I'm going to need to go buy some more soul runes to make this work, so I'll do that real quick. Shit, I don't know how much I just bought. Uh... <laughs> it ended up having me buy fewer than 200. I'll just I'll just add 200. I can look at the VOD later maybe and figure out how many I had before. I didn't cancel it in time. I will say it's 200. It's more like 150 something, I think. Okay, um... And I actually need to have space in my inventory for this it's insult head, so... All this stuff has to go. And confirm. Sold head. Nature. Body and soul runes. Alright. I'm gonna fast forward through this uh, reanimation process unless there's something interesting happens. See you soon. I do kind of wish that there wasn't a spell for every reanimated head, right? It feels kind of inelegant. Have one head spell that's context sensitive, especially since you need to cast it on the head anyway, right? And I still don't know what they'd fill the rest of the spellbook with, but.
Man, remember like several hundred hours ago when I screwed up reanimating a cow fight? Wasted the 800 some per XP. 884 per XP. Now they're trivial. It is really crazy in this game. Like, <clears throat> you, your progression is so subtle that it's really difficult to look back down the mountain sometimes and realize how far you've come when it comes to combat. Come on, land some bigger hits. What you doing? Prayer 56. Need two more levels. Or a level and some change to be higher than Herblore. Alright, that's all the cow fights out of the way. Ogre time. Oh, I need blood runes to reanimate blood belts. I guess that makes sense, but I didn't look ahead at that. Do I need blood runes for... I need blood runes for demons, too. Okay. Now I know. To buy some wizard mind bombs, I'm short one level. I didn't bring coins. God damn it. <laughs> oh man, video games. Go through and make a super cut of all the times I did something stupid like that. Alright. Did all my reanimated heads, including demons. I only needed one wizard mind bomb, but hey, now I've got a stack of them, so that's cool. Um, gotta find out what I'm doing next in my life. Probably going to the Ecto Functus to finish off uh, 57 prayer. Get my spell book back. Using Robin for that's pretty convenient. If I wanted to start trying to remember to do that once per day, although I'm terrible about remembering to do stuff like that once per day, so I probably won't. I already I hate dailies so much. They're like one of my least favorite things in video games and MMO design. They they were designed from a good place. Like we made dailies because we wanted players to feel like they didn't have to play super hardcore to make progress. But they've had the worst unintended consequences, I feel like. Now you feel like you have to log in and you have to do them, or you wasted your time. And I hate that. So if I recall correctly, if I wanted to do this, take out money, right? Bucket of slime. 26 coins. How the hell did I do this before? <laughs> I think I needed 999, and maybe that's the problem I'm running into. I need 18 coins. Really haven't done this in a while. Oh my. If I maxed out my Ecto tokens, I went to go on mute to report 57 prayer. 1,000 Ecto tokens. It's unfortunate there's like nothing to use those on. Prayer 57. One more level. Just want to have more XP than Herblore. Which means we need a little over 7,000. Prayer is something that I should have as a a lower priority, uh, simply because I screw this up. I think I screwed this up. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, it should be a lower priority because I'm already at the threshold that's technically necessary for Questcape, but. Uh, 
but prayer contributes to combat level, we need to have combat level 85, and we actually need to have as high a combat level as possible to succeed on later quests for the quest cape. So there's prayer, magic, attack strength, defense, and range, so I'll kind of get a pass when it comes to overleveling compared to the quest cape requirements. I'm going to finish doing all my big bones, and then I'll be back. See ya. All right, that's all my bones. Uh, I think I'm going to quickly go and turn in these long bones, because I keep getting stressed out that I'm accidentally going to destroy them or something. So that involves a quick visit to Dorgishin. We'll do that here. And then I think we'll wrap the episode. Next episode's going to include Swan Song, Mountain Daughter, uh, Great Brain Robbery, if I can summon the fortitude to do that many quests back to back with one of them being a master quest. We'll at least do Swan Song and then see how we're feeling after that. Turn the music back on. You know, so we're at 207,000 prayer XP. We would need like 3,000 to have more prayer XP than herbal or XP, but I'd like to get prayer to 58 uh, just so that we don't have to worry about that part of it. Like, don't have to worry about cleaning a couple herbs here and there or making a prayer potion here and there. You want to be way ahead of 57. I'm not sure yet if next episode's going to open with um, with questing, or if I'm going to go ahead and get some tithe farming out of the way. Tithe farming is not AFK. Basically, none of the things I need to do are AFK, so I might need to go and do something else that's AFK, like mining or something, just so I can get my stream work done for the day. We'll see how much I can knock out first thing in the morning. Bone Collector. Those bones! Give you 2,000 GP for the bones you're carrying. Okay. 9,000 construction XP. Sweet. We need to get construction to 70 at some point. Soft cap is 83 if we want to use all of the stuff from construction. But Cool. Well, thanks, folks, for watching. That's another episode in the bag. Uh, next episode, I'm going to try really hard to do Swan Song. If I do Swan Song alone, then that will get us a pretty big uh, lead over Herblore. So maybe the plan will be Swan Song and then... Uh, Tithe farm to 58 farming, and then we'll try to actually runecraft instead of doing uh, the Archaeus library to get runecrafting up to 58. And then, depending on what time is left in the episode, maybe we'll sneak back around and do a couple other prayer quests to knock out 58 prayer. So, then we all, at the end of all this, we'll be like base 58 all skills, which is cool. Thanks, we'll see you next episode. Bye.